you know, obviously Drexel's back at full strength. I, I hope, I just told our guys, I hope we never have to see them again. They're incredibly well coached. Uh, just Tomas and I, I hope uh, next time I see him is in the NBA. That was a, uh, that was a war. Uh, we're fortunate to come out with a win. Uh, like I said, they're a really good team. Uh, you know, some of our seniors I thought were outstanding in the second half, but uh, like I said, we're, we're fortunate there. They're, uh, they're really good now that they're back at full strength, and uh, it's going to be a, a long second half of this conference season. Uh, you know, we, we just really tried to hop on making them take tough twos, which I, I think we did. This, those three guys are really good players, but we did hold them to 40%. I'm trying to figure out. We shot 57, and they shot 40, and we went by two. I love these type of games because it, it played right into my hands. Contact, that don't bother me. So, contact. No, it's basketball. It's split. We talk a lot about attack in the red zone, and, and you know, we're a team that needs to drive the ball and layups, free throws, second, third shots. And I, obviously, you know, like I told you, Ralph had it going early, and then Jarrell carried us in the second half. I mean, I, you know, I, I think honestly, you know, we try to get guys to guard, which, which we do a pretty good job of, and then give you good players. The players score the ball. Coaches don't score the ball. Give you good players the ball. We've got. Not a good player, a great player sitting right next to me, get him the ball and you know, we trust him to make the right decisions.